So if I asked you what animal this piece of art was trying to represent, what would you say? Now I'll give you a hint, it's not a horse, or even a donkey for that matter. Pay close attention to the colours of it, which may help you, or may not. But I'll reveal what this beautiful creature is at some point in the video. Welcome to your favourite day of the week everyone, and artwork in medieval illuminated manuscripts has always been extremely interesting to me. From medieval bunnies being reincarnations of Satan, to penis trees, and of course animals that look nothing like their real life counterparts. So I thought of how fantastic and insanely accurate this medieval animal artwork is, we'd play a fun little guessing game of guess the medieval animal based off the artwork. But the fun doesn't doesn't just stop there. Afterwards I'll be showing you what those dastardly rabbits have been up to, as well as show you some medieval artwork that will make you question everything you know about the medieval world. So buckle your seatbelts everyone, get your notepads ready, it's time for round one of Guess the Medieval Animal. Guess the Medieval Animal round one. So I'll start off our guessing game with a nice and easy one. What is this trunk beast on the bottom? Next up, we have this meddling animal in the corner here, about to attack what looks like his sheep. And finally, this majestic sea creature, who looks like he just had a fart and a little bit too much came out. So first up, everyone got this one, it was an elephant. Next up was the wolf, and finally, the whale. So mark up your scores everyone, and before we start round 2, I'll tell you why all these animals look nothing like their real life counterparts, and what the art is actually depicting. So the medieval world was extremely religious. Drawings of animals often appeared in bestiaries or books of beasts, sometimes accompanied with a religious or moral allegory that related to everyday life for people, depending on what the animals were up to in the drawing. So based on the three we've just seen, the elephant would represent Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden before before they sinned, and the dragon in the art with them would be what seduced them to eat the fruit. The wolf is like the devil, and sees humans as prey, always circling and trying to seduce the sheep of the faith, referring to the church and the religious. And finally, the whale who deceives the sailors and drags them down to their depths, again signifying the devil as he drags those he deceives down to hell. <coughs> And the reason they don't look similar to modern day counterparts, not because the animals have evolved so much, it's because the artist most likely would have never seen the animal in the real world. So they based it off a written description of someone who had seen the animal, or copy other illustrations they had seen from others. So if I asked you to draw a whale today, you could easily google search an image of a whale and get every fine detail. But medieval people had to search through hundreds of crusty books for a one line description of a whale that just said big fish. So they would have based the whale of what they knew was a fish and made it big. That also shat itself. So let's get on to round two. Guess the medieval animal round two. So starting off our round two, what in good heavens is this long bellied beauty? Next up we have this thing which is honestly the best way I can describe it. And finally finishing off round two with the animal we started the intro with. So the answers for this one was number one was a camel, number two was a crocodile, and finally for our number three it was actually a chameleon. Gold star if you said chameleon, cause honestly comparing this to a chameleon they look nothing alike. Yes, the medieval animal final round! So on to our final round of Guess the Medieval Animal, what is this thing with what looks like it has a tree growing through the middle of it? Next up is this pig monster hybrid with some sort of swan's head, I honestly have no idea, it's anyone's guess. And finally for the third one, what is this blue beast? And I give you a hint, it's not blue in real life. So before we get onto our answers for round 3, let's see what those dastardly rabbits have been up to. So first up we have them attacking a tower from humans, and then afterwards it seems like they're defending the same tower from a group of attacking dogs. So I assume this tower has extreme strategic importance if the rabbits, humans and dogs want it. I'm not sure how this conflict concluded, but hopefully the rabbits retain the tower. As well as fighting in freeway wars, it seems the rabbits were also keen to overthrow the ruling classes as seen here in the execution of one and the capture of another. 
As well as being violent oiks, it seems the rabbits also had a few fun day jobs, such as being a mermaid, a musician, a hunter, and of course, having massive conga lines. So we'll leave the rabbits up to their mischief now, and if you want to know more about these rabbits, I'll leave a video either side, I can't remember which side it pops up, and you can go and see why the rabbits are depicted like this. Anyway, let's see what the answers were for our round three. So number one was actually a giraffe, which looks like a long neck camel. Number two was a hippo, which they had obviously never seen before in their life, as shown by some more fantastic hippo art. And finally, for number three, we have the tiger, which is blue for some reason, and this guy's stealing its baby for another reason. So I'm not sure why the tiger's blue, and I'm not sure why the robber's trying to steal the tiger cub. But the robber throws down a piece of glass on the floor, as you can probably see in the artwork, and the tiger gets distracted by the mirrored object, thinking it's actually the tiger's cub mirroring off it, but it's actually a mirror. So it goes to protect its cub, thinking it's a cub, but it's actually a mirror, allowing the robber to get away with the blue tiger cub. And I'm not sure why they're blue and why he's trying to steal a tiger cub. I'll leave it on screen if I can find it, but I don't have the answers for you right now, I do apologise. Anyway, mark up your scores, and before we finish off, here's some fantastic medieval art, which I really like, and you will probably too. So first up, we have a few monks throwing up frogs, which is probably a standard Friday night for most of us, so nothing weird here. So next up, we have this lad showing his group of mates an embarrassing new arse tattoo he got while he was drunk in Magaluf, and then of course shows them his massive blue balls because he couldn't pull. And finally finishing up, we have this woman on a casual walk with her dog, who's just eaten someone because he was a bit peckish, and it calls every archer in the land like a bat signal to save their eaten friend. Of course, there is so much fantastic medieval artwork out there, I urge you to explore more on your own by just googling funny medieval art, because honestly, some of the images will make you think, what the hell is going on? Anyway, here's some more rabbits that I like, let me know how much you got in the comments for the score, Remember, if you're going to cheat, say 8 out of 9, not 9 out of 9, because no one could have got that chameleon. And like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Also, I forgot to show you these postcards with some fantastic medieval art on as well. They're dogs. That's an elephant again, with a castle on its back. Eagles, apparently. And finally, a lot of people praying to a lion, because everyone loves lions.